Hey everybody, Miss J1973, or Jan, my real name. Well, a couple of days ago, um, I got this really cool piece. Um, I've been expanding my uh, collection, as you guys know, from originally smoke alarms and, and bells into um, uh, burglar alarm systems. And uh, this, by no uh, p uh, by no ex exception, sorry about that, a little tongue-tied, is a really, really cool piece. It's actually only the receiver part. Um, it is the Chubb On Guard um, model, here, let me see, model 54591 receiver. And it is a Canadian unit because on the back here, Here's the actual address I found. Um, Chubb Fire Security, uh, 777 Dundas Street East, Toronto, Ontario, M4, or, yeah, M4M1P9. Sorry if my camera doesn't focus there properly. Um, that says certificate number K179, and it's serial number 110. Three, two, one. It is a pretty cool piece, and yes, when I was younger, this name was funny in my mind because Chubb. Well, uh, it does sound funny, so I guess you can see why. Uh, so, anyways, it does sound funny, and Chubb apparently is a British company. But I used to laugh whenever I saw these names printed on those big, huge fire bells back in the eighties. I used to giggle, so I know guilty is charged. Anyways, so uh, enough about that. So I'll go into the system itself. I don't want to ramble on, but this came with a lot of cool stuff. So this is the receiver. Um, looks like an alarm clock radio, if you want to know the truth. It, um, it's got a wood-grained appearance. It's, I don't know if that's, that's plastic, though. It looks wood-grained, but it does look like an alarm clock radio. And there's your uh, transformer plug right here. And here is the uh, um, registration card. Um, it is yellowed. I, I managed to find a date on the, uh, the, um, the uh, what do you call it, on here. I'll go into that in a bit. But I did think I found a date of this. And it's not as, uh, it's not as old as I thought. But it's still old enough to be considered vintage. But here's the warranty card. There you go. I don't know if I can focus my camera. Okay. Anything on the back? Yep. It's, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I think that's just the French. So, and then there's the envelope. You'd send it back in. So, focus my camera. So, postage paid, I would take it. Yep, so, yeah, there it is. And then this here is just a letter. Dear sir or madam, congratulations for your, you bought the da 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 If you want, as I said, just read, I'll pause it. You can, I'll hold it and you can read it. I'll pause, I'll hold it long enough, just pause. But uh, there it is. I don't know if there's anything on the back. Yeah, there is. Again, oops, just pause. Okay, so hopefully you can see that, actually, I think this is actually, yeah, it's just the French side. Again, everything in, in Canada, except Quebec, where they actually speak French, is, uh, is, is has to be bilingual. In Quebec, it doesn't have to be, but in Ontario, or anywhere else in Canada, it has to be, which is strange. I've always thought that very strange. But here's the English side. So, okay. Alrighty. So moving on to, here is the, um, here's another thing. This is just a little tag it came with. It's 24-hour monitoring service. Okay, hold on. Okay. Chubb On Guard 24-hour monitoring, monitoring service for your home security Guard, and there's the picture of the big uh, console and the receiver part, or the whatever. Yeah, the receiver. Sorry about that, and the remote. And then here inside is just 
it explains everything. Contact info. Again, let me see. Okay, let me pause. Okay, there you go. Anything you want to read, I'll hold it long enough so I can you can read. So just pause. Hopefully you can see everything. And then there's all the Canadian uh, cities, the major Canadian cities. The closest one to me would be would be or there's Ontario. Um, the closest one to me would be Toronto, the closest Canadian city. So there you go. And there's the other side again. It's just French because that's how everything is in Canada, except Quebec. So, okay. So moving on to, here's the accessories. Just, uh, here's the box that it came in. I'll show you this. Okay. This is just the empty box that it came in. So, there you go. That's what the receiver was in, or the remote was in, that little plastic thing. That's the box. This, I guess, was just be a beam if you had to mount it. And there's an adhesive, mounting screws, uh, another adhesive, I take it. And there's something to hang it. And this is the battery that it came with. Now, this is corroded, the top part. The other part of it looks pretty good. Um, it's a Duracell, but this part here is, uh, pretty corroded. You can't use it. Uh, no. No, no, no. But this will be part of my battery collection, so I'm going to save it. I'm not going to get rid of the battery, uh, but I will not be able to use it. So, and, uh, here's more mounting hardware. Mounting clips. I'll just keep them in these bags. And here's the remote, by the way, just so you can see it. There's the Chubb logo, there's the little light, the little button, battery compartment, there's the back of it. So again, if you want, just read it. There's the transmitter. Now it says 4592. I don't know why, because the model of the uh, this unit is 4591. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Same address. And here is the book. So what I'll do is I'm not going to, as I said, go into too much detail. So let me put this over here. I'll just put this all over here. Okay. So here it is. Wireless Home Burglar Alarm System Pro System 4591 Owner's Manual. And again, just pause everything because I'm going to just do the English part. I'm going to flip through it. It's pretty cool. So, again, there's the receiver. Okay. Now the unit operates. Again, I'll try to focus long enough so you can all read it. If I'm going too fast, please let me know. Okay. Okay. And there's the inside of the remote. Or the transmitter. Yeah, the remote transmitter. Okay. All right. Looks like you'd put this on a window, so that's what I think this part's for here, is to stick it to a window. Now, because I'm in a basement apartment, I can't really do that. Um, this alarm is more for display purposes, because I'm in actually in a basement apartment, as most of you guys know. But I think that's what this is for, to hook it to the window. So, anyways, so again, I'll keep going through. Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Doing this all one-handed, it's very hard. Let me try to turn the page. Okay, hold on. There's more detail. But 
And then there's a picture of the receiver with the battery and the little compartment thing. It's, uh, it's off, little thing. It just flips up. Okay, and here's more about expanding the system. Now let's see. This is supposed to come with a siren and a smoke detector. Let me see. Supposedly. Yeah, it does. It comes with a siren. I'll show you in a minute. Expanding the system. Right here. Here's the siren. It's not included, of course. I have to get that separately. I would like to get it if I can. I'll look for this next or uh, at some point. Now, I got this on Etsy. It wasn't an eBay purchase. It was Etsy, just to let you know. So, I'll try to find this, and I think there is a smoke detector. Yeah, and you can there's a telephone dialer too, apparently. This is really cool. The telephone dialer, I do believe, is back here. Okay, let me see. Right somewhere, yeah, right there. There's apparently, right there. Wow. This is pretty sophisticated. I stumbled upon something really, really cool when I saw this. Okay, so, all right, there's uh, the siren. Again, it's sold separately. Operational facts. Oops. Maintenance. Again, just pause anything, and hopefully I'm not going too quickly. And then there's specifications. Okay. And then here is the warranty. There you go. And this is what makes me think this is the date here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll focus my camera again. Okay, hold on. I think that says reverse, revised, 185. So would that be January 1985? Let me know. So this could be the date. This could be how old the alarm is. So 1985, so it's, uh, it's um, 38 years old. So it's not as old as I thought. Well, I would have been 12 in 85. So it's still pretty cool. So that's the warranty. This is the end of the English part of the book. Everything else, if I was to do this, it's all in French. So I won't go into that because I don't speak French. You know, I took it in high school uh, a thousand years ago. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, 35 years ago, actually. But uh, but that's French. So we won't go into that. Now I'm going to grab this. Walk with me over to my, uh, over here, and I'm going to grab, let me see if I can grab the re receiver too without, uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, sorry about this. You guys will kind of get a tour of the apartment a little bit. Uh, you've seen this table here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 dropped my cell phone. Didn't drop, didn't break it, thank goodness. Wow. Okay, well, as you can see. <laughs> there's the table of uh, smoke alarms, the famous one, and over here. So I'm going to plug it in over here. Anyways, and there's a couple up there. That's my fireplace mantle. So there's the uh, uh, fire angel. So yeah, the uh, travel safe or travel alarm. So anyways, get back to this. So I'm going to plug this in. So I will do this. I got to take, I got to plug, unplug one thing here. And again, this was upside down. Oh my goodness, I was holding it upside down the whole time. Anyways, there's the table of smoke alarms. Some of them. Sorry if that was upside down when I dropped my cell phone. There. There's the other ones. And there's some of them there. So, okay, hold on. I have to unplug one thing here. Bear with me. Okay.
Okay. That was just the remote for my doorbell. I'll have to unplug it. This seems to be the easiest place to set this off. Okay. Bear with me again. Okay. You might hear a beep. Okay, hold on. Yep, okay, that just means that there's power to the alarm, it chirps. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Alright, so here it is. Okay. There it is, it's hooked up now. So this is what it looks like uh, when it's on. These two lights should go on here. Let me get down to this level here. Okay. Here it is, alarm one, alarm two. I don't know what alarm one sounds like, but alarm two goes off. And here's battery monitor and uh, power, and it's got to the off switch. This is how it has to go when it's in this position. You want to set it off. So, here it is. This should work. Now, I'm going to go to another part of my apartment and try to set this off and see how far it goes off at the distance. Hold on. Okay, the alarm two goes off. You can see this right here. And that goes off. And this is loud. It's a solid piezo. I'm going to shut this off. You turn it off here. And it was. There. I did it before. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to another part of my apartment. I'm going to go over to where my laundry room door is. And I'm going to try to see how far this remote will set it off. And we'll see. Now hold on. Follow me. Oh yeah, it does. I barely touched it. There. Okay. Hold on. Wow, pretty cool. I'm going to do it again, though. My hand accidentally touched this. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now, I'm going to try it one more time. Hold on. Now, I'm going to do it from over here. This is my laundry room, the door to my laundry room. Now, let's try it here. Okay, cool. Really cool. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty cool. Wow, I can't believe it works that far. Probably works even further than that. But anyways, that is the, um, here, let me turn this off. The Chubb On Guard System Pro System Model 4591 Receiver and Remote. And again, it's probably from the 19, again, it, was, it had a date on it of, 185 so i'm gonna think it's 1985 it's still pretty cool i'd like to get the siren and again it's got a telephone dialer back here it looks like and apparently there should be a smoke detector i think i'm not sure it doesn't say anything about one but pretty cool piece uh, i think this is really cool um and again it's an etsy purchase not ebay so i hope the video posts I hope I didn't ramble on too much, and sorry about those little uh, flubs in between when the camera fell. Uh, that was not intended. So, anyways, take care, guys. Happy Saturday, and uh, have a good weekend. Bye.